this is an amazing news because to give you the opportunity you need to check out other jobs um understand what it's all about in case you want to transition from one job to the other or you want to practice other skills this will enable you achieve these things so hello guys and welcome back to my channel if you're seeing this face for the very first time my name is Ogi. please kindly do well to subscribe if you haven't like this video share to your family and friends because on this channel i do anything immigration and i also share my lifestyle tell you things that will guide you on how you can move abroad without paying anybody you don't need to pay any money for you to be able to do it this is a do it yourself channel i guide you on how you can move abroad how to make these researches and get the information you need for you to be able to move and live outside the comfort of whichever country you are coming from so in today's video i would like to share with you people an update from the ukvi this update took effect from today being the 4th of april 2024 this is a great update because this particular update will help you do other things put your hand in other skills that you would like to check out because earlier you used to be that whichever job you are doing whichever code you are working on or whichever code that brought you into the uk or that you have the cos that is the code where you can do additional paid job but now that law has changed so the law took effect today being the 4th of april 2024 and it has changed entirely and it has changed for good so guys i'm going to read out this particular rules from the gov.uk so that you wouldn't say this is what Ogi said and i'll also leave the link in the description so that you can read and digest it on your own at your own time and at your own pace as well so let's get into it and check out what gov.uk have said about additional paid jobs in the uk while you are on a work visa so let's see how it is i'm going to read out the one of skilled worker visa because there is one of skilled worker visa and there is also health and care visa these are two different visa a or someone under health and care visa is also making use of some information from skilled worker visa but most of the things that happen on health and care visa are different from what is happening on the skilled worker visa for instance the health and care visa are those people working the under the healthcare sector and this set of people do not pay health care surcharge but people under the skilled worker visa pay health surcharge so let's check out what it states under the skilled worker visa about additional paid 20 hours job taking on additional work if you work overtime in the job you are being sponsored for you do not need to update your visa there's no limit to how many hours of overtime you can do this particular video is answering two different questions because a lot of people have this challenge of or uh, always ask this question how many hours can i do for my current employer how many hours can i do for my current employer i'm glad the ukvi have finally answered this question on their website so that some of you will stop being confused about this particular topic you do not have any limit of hours you're going to work when it has to do with your employer i mean the employer that gave you a certificate of sponsorship if you want to work 500 hours that is left for you 
it doesn't matter if you want to work 12 hours every every day for seven days if you want to work 24 hours every day for seven days in a week it is completely up to you it is left for you to decide but always remember to put your health first always remember to put your health first do not overwork yourself because you will not live to tell the story so you can also work up to 20 hours a week in another job or for your own business as long as you are still doing the job you are being sponsored for so you need to be doing the job you are being sponsored for while you go for another 20 additional hours you can't be lagging behind with your current job with your current employer and you are going out there to do 20 hours job it will not work so you must also work your work must be in an eligible occupation code your work must be in an eligible occupation code so you can also go to the gov.uk website and click on eligible occupation code and see the jobs on eligible occupation code that's the shortage occupation list you understand check it out and see the jobs there these are the jobs you can be able to do on your extra 20 hours additional job okay so you can also do unpaid voluntary work you can also do unpaid voluntary work if you will be doing more than 20 hours a week in another job you will need to apply to update your visa so that you are being sponsored to do both jobs you will need to get a new certificate of sponsorship from the second employer so just know that if an employer is ready to give you another cos you can have two cos and you can be working with two different cos's okay you need to make sure that if you are ready to work for someone else for more than 20 hours you have to get a cos from the second employer and also apply for a visa we did you need to update your visa so that ukvi will know that you have a cos from this other company so for those of you that are asking can i have a two can i have two cos's can i be doing uh two jobs for more than 20 hours for each of them yes yes you can so if you're ready to work for more than 20 hours for any employer make sure that you have a cos from that employer that's the only way you can work for more than 20 hours that's when it doesn't have to do with your main employer that employ you to come and work in the uk so whoever that is going to hire you and wants to give you more than 20 hours job make sure that you got a cos from that person as well apply and update your visa with that cos include a letter with your application explaining that you want to change your current permission to stay so that's it for skilled worker visa let's check the one for health and care visa and see what they said in the health and care visa part okay for health and care visa taking on additional work you can do additional paid work on health and care worker visa they are specific about it they called it health and care worker visa as long as you're still doing the job you're being sponsored for if you can also do unpaid voluntary work if you complete your gp training this one now they are they are now talking about gps you can do four months of additional pay work you may need to apply to update your visa to do additional paid work this will depend on the type of work you're doing and the hours you're going to work your additional work 
your additional work must be in the eligible skilled worker occupation code skilled worker occupation code nobody is now talking about health and care visa or health and care um code okay let me explain this better before it used to be before you can do 20 hours you will need to work on the same job code that you have been sponsored to come and work in the uk so you can do any job apart from that code let's say you're a healthcare assistant not a senior healthcare assistant you are just a healthcare assistant you can only work elsewhere for 20 hours as a healthcare assistant that is the only job you can do in the uk you can work as a senior healthcare assistant even if you have the experience you can't work in the it sector even if it's on the shortage occupation list you cannot work as um uh, assistant pharmacist you cannot do any other kind of job you are only going to work as a healthcare assistant which is under code 6145 if it is any job that is not on that code it is not a 6145 code it is not for you you are violating the rule of your visa but now from today it has changed from today it has changed you can now do any other job as long as it is on the eligible code eligible code of skilled worker occupation code okay so you are free now to explore for those of you that want to check out it and see if you can do well in it if what you have if you, what you have learned you can do them and practice them now is the time you can take up 20 hours and do your job on that particular occupation as well so it is now welcome you can explore one thing i like about this opportunity is that you can be able to explore check out other jobs find jobs there and check them out do your 20 hours with those jobs if you like a customer service job you can now do it this is a great one you can now work as a customer representative okay you can do other jobs you love because you are now allowed to do them so for me it's a great news because it is an opportunity for people to explore it's a great opportunity so make sure that you are doing a job that is on the eligible skilled worker occupation code when you need to update your visa you must update your visa if your additional job is more than 20 hours a week just like what we saw on the skilled worker visa option you don't need to update if you are working over time in the job you are being sponsored for working bank shifts for your nhs sponsor so it is still the same as doing your extra hours with your sponsor you don't need to do anything about it you can work as many hours as possible but when you're working for any other employer you need to make sure it's 20 hours and you you need to make sure that it's under the eligible skilled worker occupation code so the the clauses there now are you need to make sure that it is under the uh, shortage occupation is that the eligible skilled worker code and secondly you also need to make sure that you are doing the job that brought you to the united kingdom you are working for your employer and doing your contracted hours you don't need to short change the employer that brought you in and you are busy working for someone else you are breaking the rule by doing that 
you need to satisfy your employer and make sure that you are doing your contracted hours before you can then work for someone else it has always been like that so the moment you know that you have taken care of your employer and worked for your employer you can now decide you can now decide to work any time of the week any as long as when you put all of them together the extra hours you are giving to someone else that is not your employer or your main employer that brought you to the uk is not more than 20 hours so i just hope that i've been able to explain this in a layman's language that you are able to understand and digest it so guys thank you for watching and make sure you subscribe to this channel like this video and look out for more videos and updates on the uk and other countries as well so see you next time and bye